Coronavirus cases continue to rise. Health experts are also concerned about emerging hotspots in states, including Texas, Louisiana, and Florida. So we're joined now by two lawmakers on the very front lines of this coronavirus uh, pandemic, the local coronavirus response efforts. We've got Ben Kalos, he's a New York City council member representing the city's fifth district, and Amy Peck, who is a Houston City Council member from District A. So, Ben, I'll start with you. We have been watching New York City for weeks now. It keeps getting worse. We're still a ways away from the peak. What is your number one concern right now? First, thanks for having me. Our number one concern here is making sure that we have enough resources to make sure that we don't have to decide between uh, people who live and die. So, number one, that's ventilators. Then it's PPEs getting more beds and then getting more testing. We don't have enough tests, so we haven't been able to be testing everyone who is concerned that they might have it. If we can get through all four, then it means we should have some smooth sailing and then we can get to work helping every other state in this union. Amy, let me bring you in here because a lot of people are now watching Texas, Houston in particular, uh, as an emerging hotspot for the coronavirus epidemic, pandemic. Uh, Amy, as you watch what's happening in New York, are you worried that you're going to be dealing with similar issues in Houston, Texas in the coming days and weeks? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, it's our hope that it doesn't become another hot spot. And in Houston alone, we've seen that our numbers are a lot lower than in other um, major cities across the country. And so the plans that we've put in place early on, it's my hope that that is going to help to make sure that those numbers don't rise so fast that we can't um, accommodate people at the hospitals. Yeah, but let me pop up something from the dean at Baylor College of Medicine. He's really sounding the alarm that Houston is, a, is at a growing risk. He wrote, there's every reason the virus could pick Houston as its next target. We're certainly uh, very similar demographically. He was referring to Louisiana, New Orleans. I'm very concerned about the health of people in some of the poor neighborhoods in our city where diabetes, hypertension rates are high, and people are also living in more crowded conditions. Uh, ben, as somebody who's been dealing with this a little bit longer, longer than everybody down in Houston. Any advice for Amy? Act now, get that stay at home order in now. It needs to be in every state in the union. The president needs to lead on that issue. Uh, when this started, we were in double digits for the number of cases, the number of people being affected and hospitalized. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And the more you do early, the more likely you are to have that flat curve where you don't have to worry about anybody dying. Ben, let me ask you something about uh, Governor Cuomo. He's taking his authority. He's decided to use his authority to take ventilators and other critical equipment, uh, redistribute them as he sees fit. Is that helping at all? Uh, here in the city, we've actually started to see some resources. We still need so many more. Uh, I think Governor Cuomo has actually now become America's governor. His daily briefings are something that everyone's watching and uh, actually feeling relief from, even though he's giving a lot of bad news. He, he's taken very strong steps. He put New York State on pause. He's been closing down a lot of our non-essential businesses. Uh, very recently, because, listen, I, I have a small child. She's two years old. We but, were trying to use the playgrounds, yeah. but we weren't seeing social distancing on those playgrounds. He recently issued an order to close the playgrounds. But we're actually seeing a lot of support Understood. coming from Governor Cuomo. And in terms of the resources, uh, we've had a lot of folks Ben, let me just hop in here real quick, because I want to make sure Sorry to interrupt. I just want to only have a few seconds left. I want to make sure I get Amy back in here. Amy, how are hospitals in Houston doing? Right now, the hospitals are doing okay. We are not at capacity. We are very fortunate to have some of the best hospitals in the entire country right here in Houston. And so we are not at capacity, but plans are being put in place in case there is a surge. We're trying to add um, additional locations and more beds just in case. All right. Well, Amy, Ben, thank you both so much for your time. You. Uh, best of luck going forward. And uh, hopefully Houston does not end up like New York is right now. Thanks, guys.